Do you know that pollution is a big problem for a developing India? The disposal of the waste that gives rise to this problem is no less than a challenge for us. Every day thousands of tons of different types of waste is generated in our country whether it is plastic waste, animal waste, crop residue, domestic waste or in the form of biomedical waste. Only proper management of waste can give us a pollution-free environment. But this is possible only when people have proper knowledge of waste management. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, the government of India has taken a big initiative to manage all kinds of garbage. We have tried to convey this message to every citizen of the country that how we can convert waste into opportunity through waste management. The disposal of household waste is easy, but the management of biomedical waste is quite complex. Otherwise, it can cause large-scale diseases and epidemics along with pollution. Do you know what is biomedical waste? If not, then see this. Actually, the waste coming out of hospitals, whether it comes out from surgery, medicines or things that come out during treatment, all this is biomedical waste. The waste consists of glass and plastic glucose bottles, injection and syringes, empty medicine bottles and used IV sets, gloves and other materials. Apart from this, various reports, receipts and hospital slips are also included in these. Not only hospitals, there are many other sources of biomedical waste. Nursing homes, dispensaries, primary health centers, medical colleges, research centers, paramedical services, blood banks, morgues, necropsy center, veterinary colleges, animal research centers, health-related production centers and various biomedical educational institutions. They also generate large quantities of biomedical waste. The World Health Organization WHO has divided these waste into four classes. This includes leftover and old and spoiled medicines, deceased substance, in this the patient's excreta, urine, vomit, pus and blood strips and human organs etc. Radioactive substance. It contains various radioactive substances such as radium, x-rays and cobalt etc. Chemical substance. This includes batteries and various chemical substances used in the lab. Apart from all this, some substances such as medicine wrappers, paper, reports, needles, blood bags, urine bags, PPE kits, masks, gloves etc. have also been included in the biomedical waste. According to experts, 85% of hospital waste is not hazardous, but the remaining 15% can give dangerous diseases to animals and humans. This waste may be a minor waste for hospitals, but according to the Government of India and the Medical Council of India, it can also prove to be lethal. People can get various types of diseases by coming in contact with such waste like hepatitis and COVID-19, etc. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, CPCB, about 146 tons of biomedical waste is generated daily in our country. In the last year only, 45,000 tons of biomedical waste was generated. The figures are really shocking and the problem is equally serious. Now you can imagine how dangerous biomedical waste is and how important its proper management is for a healthy society. How to avoid biomedical waste Biomedical waste should always be kept in closed bags. The mixed waste should be segregated and disposed of according to the prescribed procedure. Biomedical and household waste should not be mixed. This can increase the risk of infection in cleaners. There should be a system of regular collection of garbage in the municipalities. 
do not dump biomedical waste at the landfill site. Even if the waste is to be dumped at the landfill, it is necessary to immediately cover it with a layer of soil of 10 mm. Along with the general public, hospitals should also follow the rules of biomedical waste disposal properly. As per government norms, biomedical waste has to be collected in three types of bags. These include yellow bags for inflammable waste, red bags for recyclable waste, and white bags for glass-linked waste. Instructions have been given by the government for handling, treatment, and disposal of biomedical waste under Solid Waste Management Rules 2016 and Biomedical Waste Management Rules. Different types of biomedical waste can be disposed of as follows. In the yellow category, the type of waste that comes into yellow category is human body parts, body parts of the animals. The type of bag or the container for use is yellow colored non-chlorinated plastic bags. The management and disposal options are incineration or plasma pyrolysis or by deep burial. In the yellow category, the type of waste is dirty and solid waste. Type of bag or container for use is incineration or plasma pyrolysis or by deep burial in the absence of above facilities. Autoclaving or microwaving is another option. Management and disposal options are waste to be sent for energy generation. In the yellow category itself, old and leftover medicines can be covered in a yellow color non-chlorinated plastic bag or a container and the management system would be that expired medicines will be sent back to the drug manufacturers and disposal of drugs by incineration. In the yellow category itself, chemical waste will be taken in non-chlorinated plastic bags or container, disposal by incineration or plasma. For chemical liquid waste, leakage separation and collection system would be used and the management process would be that liquid chemicals before mixing with the other wastewater and pre-treatment of waste. In the yellow category itself, the treatment of mattresses and bedding contaminated with blood. We use non-chlorinated yellow plastic or materials suitable for packing. The management system would be non-chlorinated chemical disinfection first, then incineration or plasma or use of pyrolysis to produce energy. In case of microbiology, biotechnology and other clinical laboratory waste, autoclave, safe, plastic bag or container will be used and the waste management would be on-site incineration with non-chlorinated chemicals in accordance with National AIDS Control Organization or World Health Organization guidelines. In the red category comes contaminated waste which is recyclable which is red colored and non-chlorinated type of bag or container will be used. Besides, plastic bag or container can also be used. The waste management system would be that waste after autoclaving or microwaving would be used as energy generation, fuel or road construction material. The use of plastic waste for filling should be prohibited. Transparent white category, which is used for metal spiked trash can, and the process is to use puncture-free and leak-free container and then the waste management process involves autoclaving, dry hot sterilization or in cement and iron works and that is the final settlement. In the blue category, we use glassware waste and it should be taken in blue color coated carton and the waste management process is disinfection of glass after washing with detergent and sodium hypochlorite or recycling through autoclaving, microwaving or hydroclaving. In the last few years, 200 to 250 biomedical waste facilities have been set up in different cities of the country where these waste is burnt at high temperatures. These plants are disposing of biomedical waste from 600 to 700 cities. In the cities where this facility is not available at present, the work of building new facility is underway at a rapid pace. Apart from this, under the Swast Bharat mission, the government is running an awareness campaign on a large scale for information on waste management. 
but along with the government, the cooperation of all of us is also necessary in making this campaign successful so that we can keep our water, land and future safe from the hazards of biomedical waste.